What's up, fun and riffy gamers? This is your host Sierra, and welcome to my very first video. Thank God for my sister for giving me her channel. The reason why I chose the channel because I like the name. The name is Fun and Riffic. It's fun and terrific, you know, put together. Amazing name, I believe. And um, today I will be playing Lost Recipes. But before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified so you won't miss any new uploads if you want to. So let's get in the game. Shall I start a new game? Uh, I think we're going to continue in China. I'm trying to figure out. We could take your channel. Okay, we could do the dung po pork. The dung po pork. Okay, enter in the kitchen. Xinian Kwai Le, Happy New Year. This recipe is dung po pork. My family used to have this during special occasions. Pork belly, bok choy, shiitake mushrooms. Mmm, I can't wait. Okay, so let's stay in here. Ooh. So I, can, I see that you can adjust the counter space to how tall you are or how short you are. This is amazing. Okay, flipping around. It's beautiful here. Got the window. Can I move this? Okay. Alright. Just want to look at the window. Alright, so it says Dungo Pork. Julianne, a good amount of ginger with the knife into the bowl. Okay. Let's move this over. Oh. Okay. You know, Dongpo Pork is named after a famous poet. Looking good. Now let's bring those over to the left walk. Okay. Let's take this. Scoop it in my bowl. Scoop it in my bowl. Put that back here. Put that back here. It says take it where? In the left walk, combine two scoops of water, the pork belly, and half of the ginger. Half of the ginger, okay. Set as a left walk. Okay. Two scoops of water. And, uh, let's pick up the key pork. to a good piece of pork belly is to pick a nice pink piece, not too red, definitely not brown or purple. Okay. And you want a good layer of fat. In fact, about a third of the whole cut should be fat. That's where all the flavor is. You are blanching the pork now, which will get rid of the impurities and make the pork easier to cube. Okay, well, let me drop some. Okay. Uh, okay. Use wood to start a hot fire under the walk with the pork. Okay, hey guys, uh, got the wood. Ooh, let's get it. Gotta make sure I ain't bumping this old wall. 
have that I don't have that much space. A steady supply of wood can get expensive. The shape of the wok does a good job of evenly distributing the heat and helping you get the most out of your fuel. Okay. Once pork belly is cooked, take out and cut into four cubes. What does that mean it's cooked with wood? Originally, pork was so expensive, only nobles could eat it. When it became cheaper, the nobles stopped appreciating it. Okay, you said the pork belly. So silly. So silly. Okay, so take out and cut into four cubes with knife. Let me get a little bit of knife. Right here. Something is burning. Uh-uh. Oh. What's burning? In the second walk on the right, place a layer of whole scallions to start the sauce. Okay. Whole oh, quick tip. If you put the scallions at the base of your wok, they'll keep the meat from sticking. Means you don't have to stir. Oh, okay. So don't have to put fire in. Now, now add to add. the scallions a cinnamon steak, two bay leaves, two star anise, and the remaining ginger. I mean, the remaining ginger. Okay. Hey, that's the part of nowhere else. Lastly, add the soy sauce, Shaoxing wine, and half of the rock sugar. Half of the rock sugar. Sit you back there. Come on, one more, one more. Here we go, half this one. Okay, let's get some of this. Shaoxing wine is the oldest wine in China. You add this stuff to your stir fry and it'll taste ten times better. Here we go. And uh, uh, we said uh, um, soy sauce. <laughs> Use wood to start a hot fire under the wok to heat up the sauce. Show you how it look under there. Okay. Now add the pork cubes to the sauce and boil until the pork is cooked through. Okay. The wok on the right is ready to cook now. Place the steamer in the first wok over the water you used to boil the pork. Place four ceramic bowls in the steamer basket. Oh, no, they didn't. Where's the steamer basket? Is there a steamer basket around here? Some oh, see some. Yay! Okay, this is the steamer. This is the top. And this is the bottom, okay. Uh -huh. This is amazing, guys. Okay, and uh, what else? Use the ladle to divide the sauce and pork cubes between the four bowls. Oh, okay. Cover with the lid to steam. Actually, Dongpo pork wasn't named after Su Dongpo until much later, during the Ming Dynasty. They like the naming things after people. Uh, 
And don't worry about cooking the pork for too long. All the fat in the meat will just make it softer the longer you cook it. Alright, at this point, you gotta use my hands. Alright, using my hands. I know this is unsanitary, but hey. I can use the ladder to divide the sauce. There we go. Guys, this is more difficult. Here we go. Here we go. Miss that one again. Here we go. Now it says place the lid over it. There are a few legends about how Dongpo pork got popular. Mm -hmm. But my favorite is the one that says Su Dongpo made this dish after he helped his village recover from a major flood. That is amazing. The villagers gave him a bunch of pork as thanks, and he turned it into this dish and shared it with them. That is amazing. What do I do next? Empty the wok of the leftover pork sauce and spices into the trash. Okay. I didn't even know we could lift up this. Your left fire is out. There we go. Now what? Cut all the bok choy in half with the knife. Bok choy. So the we... left wok is ready to cook with. The left wok. Oh. Oh. Just dropped a piece of meat. Let's go to the bok choy. Okay, let's see how you say cut it. Go. No. Bok choy may not look like much, but it's so good for you. Okay, what do I do now? Put them on a plate. Okay. Fill the now empty wok with the two scoops of water. When boiling, add the bok choy. Okay. Scoops of water. Egg my bok choy. One time, I forgot my bok choy and let it boil for way too long. Okay. It turned to mush. Ew. So remember, long cooking times are great for pork belly, not so great for bok choy. Well, okay. Okay, now. Once the bok choy is light green, place the bok choy in a circle on a plate. In a circle? Okay.
Here we go. Here we go. What else? I'm gonna pro at this. Empty the wok used for the bok choy and place the shiitake mushroom caps into it. What? It's essential to have some vegetables with your dongpo pork to offset the fattiness. Okay, empty. Last telling me to use <sighs> shiitake mushrooms. Where are they? Oops. I hit my door. This is, what is this? Is it shiitake mushrooms? No. They gotta be in some type of red bowl. That's not it. Where's the shiitake mushrooms? Is that it over there? I don't see no uh, shiitake mushrooms unless these is it. Yep, these are it. See? All right, empty the wok used for bok choy, bok choy, and place shiitake mushrooms into it. Bon. Uh. The name shiitake is actually Japanese. Here we call them xianggu, which means fragrant mushroom. Xianggu. The very best kind are called huagu, or flower mushroom, because of the patterns on their caps. Miss Mono. Okay, what happens when they're done? Add liquids to the mushrooms to create a sauce. Use equal parts soy sauce, Shaoxing wine, and rice vinegar. Equal parts. Now add one spoon of garlic and the remaining rock sugar to the mushrooms and the sauce. One spoon of garlic. Okay, I'm missing a spoon over here. Okay, I guess the spoon is over. One spoon of garlic and the remaining rock sugar. Here we go. Now what? Once cooked, place the mushrooms and the sauce in the middle of the bok choy. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Let's move it. Get that there. Smooth. You said there, bok choy. Scallions. Smooth. Ooh. No. There we go. Okay. Bang. 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 Okay. Okay. And once cooked, place mushrooms and sauce in the middle of the... Dip the teapot in the... Put the teapot on the... Or dip the teapot once cooked. Place the mushrooms and the sauce in the middle of the bok choy. The fire on the right is out. Okay, put the mushrooms in the middle of the plate first. Uh-huh. They should have had a picture of how it's supposed to look. Dip the teapot in the water bucket to fill it. Teapot. Okay, gotta be over here somewhere. Okay, and what to do? 
put the teapot on the already hot brazier, bring it to a boil. Okay. Bring it to a boil. Put two spoonfuls of green tea powder into the teacup. Into the teacup. Okay, oh, look at me, I'm making... There's a legend that tea was discovered when the mythological figure Shen Nong drank a cup of hot water without noticing that tea leaves had fallen into it. He felt so refreshed. After that, he had the drink made again and again. Okay. Add one spoon of salt to reduce the bitterness. Less salt. Whisk the tea until a froth forms. Oh, make sure you whisk it really well. This style of whisked tea makes the tart look like it's covered in a layer of clouds. I think it's also how they make matcha in Japan today. Okay. So now you do it. Here we go. Yeah. Like that. Ooh. Miss, where, the, where, where you go? Place the meal on the serving table and ring the bell. Got you. Can't taste it. Mm. Oh, that's how the buck choice supposed to look. That smells <gasps> delicious. Okay, that's how the buck choice is supposed to look. Okay, let me just lay this around. Uh -huh. I don't know why you ain't showed me the picture in the first place. Let me get this rock tour off. Uh -huh. This game is amazing. Okay. And let's go into here. To go. To go to the belly. That's going to hold me. Here we go. Let's turn it around. Bum. Bum. Can we get one more? Big piece. Big piece. Do you think that's enough? I don't think so. Oh, let's hope this was worth the wait. Um, when my brother was studying for his imperial exam, it's all right, Yay! I guess. Not quite like the recipe, but it'll Excuse do. Excuse me? It's me not quite like the recipe, but it'll do it. I got three stars. I knew you oh, had it four in. stars. Very Five impressive. Me. Cooking. Okay. The cooking presentation was five stars. Very good. Ingredients, four stars. What I was missing? Recipe, four stars. All right, all right, all right. 